the following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. So what ultimately caused you to leave Extreme Championship Wrestling? What's that? <laughs> okay. When, when, I was, when I was brought in, I was hoping for a chance to wrestle. Like, mm -hmm. what I was under the impression was I was going to get a shot to wrestle. Um, and not even that I was looking for, you know, a push or anything. I was just looking for the chance. And I was not given the chance. And, you know, when Bubba came in, you know, I'd be at ringside and I would see things in my head. And I'm like, at that point, I was doing indies for two, three years. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, he's really green. Like, why are they giving him a shot and not even giving me a match? What, what, what's going on here? And then Devon came in and it was the same thing. Where they were going with it. I, I understood, you know, the, the storyline they were doing and I knew that there was the focus and, um, and, and, I, and, I, and I was more acceptable to it. I, and I got it. And I was, I was happy just to be there. And, you know, I was in the weekly TV exposure and, and mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. So I was happy as well. And um, when Spike came in, Spike came in and it was boom. Instantly in the ring, instantly in the ring, instantly in the ring. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I just saw the writing on the wall that I was just not going to get a chance. And I just, you know, I was going out there, you know, every show, get my head bashed in with chairs, go through a table, do this. And I'm doing all this stuff. You know, I'm getting concussion after concussion. I'm getting my nose busted. I'm, I'm doing what I got to do for this company. And I'm not complaining because I enjoyed it and I was very grateful for it. But Again, I just wanted that shot, and I was never given that shot. And I saw once Spike came in and was given a shot, I was like, yeah, it's, I'm done. I'm, I'm over this. I'm going to go do the indie circuit. And my phone instantly started ringing. People wanted to book me. So I was like, cool. So I started doing, you know, working in the tri-state area as Chubby Dudley, and then I got a call. I was yeah. working. Um, I was delivering pizzas. That, that was my day job at the time. I was delivering pizzas. And I got a call at the pizza shop from Taz. And he called up and he uh, he said, "Yo, the, uh, we hear you're doing uh, you're working the indies and you're using our gimmick. That's our gimmick. You're not allowed to call yourself a Dudley and do the indies. That's our gimmick." And I was like, "Taz, like, I I just want a shot." I was trying to explain to him like my feelings and just like I said to you, and he didn't want to hear it. He was just like, "Yeah, stop doing the gimmick, or I'm going to come to a show and I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to stretch you and I'm going to hurt you. So I'd advise you to stop doing our gimmick." And at that point, like, I just, again, I just wanted a shot. And they never, you know, they put me out there one or two opening matches because somebody didn't show or they needed, like, a filler and they teamed me up with this person or that person. And then it would be like Sandman would come out with the cane and cane him. And Hack would say to me, he'd be like, Chubby, as soon as I hit that ring, I'm hitting you first. Get the fuck out of there. He's like, just fucking bail and go back to the dressing room. You shouldn't be out there. And that's what I would do. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Rope. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm -hmm.